Hey you guys, it's Bray. Tonight we're here to talk about the idea of being better late than never when it comes to commentary channels specifically. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so this is something that I've heard echoed from a couple of different creators and I wanted to echo it myself as well because this is something that I've kind of talked about before on my channel, so this is not going to be a really long video, but it's the idea of kind of changing your mind or changing your stance as a commentary channel and as, as a YouTuber in general, but especially when it comes to commentary because it does seem like commentary channels are held to a different set of standards than other genres on YouTube. Same would go with like drama and tea channels. If you either don't talk about something or you talk about something and share your stance and then your opinion changes down the road and you come to your platform and say so, for some reason in, in my mind that's something that is admirable and it's something that I respect when I see YouTubers do that. But for some, it seems like it's a sign of disrespect. It's a sign of not knowing what your opinions are. And something um, Sharon, she runs a channel, Sincerely Sharon, I'll, I'll read you her community post real quick because what she said really made a lot of sense. She put up a post that said, I hate seeing this competition between creators saying things like this. I was first to call so-and-so out. I saw this before anyone started commenting on it, etc. I think some people are allowed to change and evolve. Not all people are on the same wavelength. Sometimes it takes people longer to be able to grasp ideas and change. It's not who called out who first. It's It should be part of a collective effort to discuss problematic behaviors and creators on the platform. Being a commentator, I think that people expect our beliefs to be set in stone, but like everyone else, we are allowed to change our perspectives. And I could not agree with that more. An example of this for me would be, I started talking about Katie Joy summer of 2020. And there are people now, current day, who are catching on to her toxic ways, the fact that she'll spread misinformation, and they're making videos and sharing their thoughts. If I were to call out those creators and say, well, I saw this in the summer of 2020, where were you guys then? Or, oh, you're dumb for not catching on sooner. That would be absolutely ridiculous. There is no reason why everyone should be expected to catch on to the same behavior at the same time. Because sometimes we don't see the behavior. Sometimes maybe it's a change in the behavior that finally makes us come and say that our opinion has changed. And some people are very nervous to talk about certain YouTubers because their followers are so rabid and crazy. I've discussed my fair share of different creators on this platform and there are a few who infamously have very crazy fans that will come into your comments and call you all kinds of names. They'll come in your DMs just to stand up for their favorite YouTuber. And when your fan base is known for being hostile and irate with people who disagree with you, that also puts that creator in a certain position to say, am I ready to come to my platform and say how I feel about this person? Because changing your mind or announcing a change in your stance it's not only about making the video, but it's about making sure that you get your message across the first time, making sure that you're ready and willing to see the comments that are gonna come in that might not be agreeing with you. Also making sure that you're in a place with your own mental health where you're ready to tackle this topic. Because when I cut my camera off and I upload my video after I edit it, I have a whole life outside YouTube, just like every other YouTuber does. And if I'm not in a position where I'm able to either ignore, you know, comments that are really vile or 
not allow those comments to affect the rest of my day, then it might be something that I want to sit on for a little while and come to my platform when I'm ready. And I'm not speaking for everyone, but those are some really logical and realistic situations and scenarios that could be causing someone to come to their platform at this time versus that time. Not everybody's going to always come to the same realization at the same time. Even if you see other people who dislike someone or they find this person to be, you know, a jerk, maybe the things that they have a problem with are being stored in your mental Rolodex and you're taking notes and you're continuing to come up with how you want to structure your video and the words that you want to say. Um, or maybe you're just waiting for the next thing to happen because this person has shown a pattern of being really bad online. And this is also not to say that everybody has to eventually come to, you know, this conclusion, whatever that conclusion is, because some people may never come to the conclusion that other people have slowly started to come to, and that's okay as well. I think that we need to, um, you know, I, I get that there's like friendly competition among YouTubers sometimes, but I really wish that this hostile and negative nature of being a commentary channel would calm down a little bit because things seem to be taken so personally and people can't stand one another. They're seeing each other and all that it's doing is making subscribers feel uncomfortable. It's starting to make people who think of commentary channels to just think of vile toxicity and that's not what I ever want anyone to think of when they think of my channel because I do love commentary and I'm going to continue to do it um, but but I do wish that some of the toxicity would kind of simmer down and subside just a little bit. For me personally it is better late than never but if it's never I'm not going to take it super personally and you know drag that person or try to cancel them. It, it is what it is you know we we all think for ourselves and there are different reasons why certain people come to the decisions that they do at the time that they do and it's all good. So I know this was a quick little video but today will be a two upload day so for now if you like the video please leave a like and a comment and if you'd like to see more from me in the future please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!